We're getting into the home stretch of the high school basketball playoffs as teams are continuing their march towards a state championship. The second round of games took place and will begin in boys action in Class 4A. Dante Tysinger and Greater Johnstown are taking on Hampton in all 6-8 of Liam McMoga. And here he is throwing it down Shack style. He posed a problem for Johnstown. Hampton led by 12 at halftime. The Trojans gained some confidence in the second half. Deion Dixon with the steal, and he's going to take it all the way for the slam. Trojans pulled within six, heading to the fourth quarter. Now down by one. Dom Alberta for the lead. No, but Tysinger grabs the rebound and puts it back to go up by one. The Trojans are up four now with a minute and a half to go. Peter Kramer knocks down the triple, and he gets the and one. We're tied at 49. Under 40 seconds left, same score. Dixon is at the line for the lead, but he misses. Kramer gets his chance at the line then for the lead, and he makes both attempts. That means one final chance for Johnstown. Tysinger for three. It goes in, but it doesn't count as time expired before he got the shot up. Hampton wins a nail-biter, 50-48. to 48. In our second game, Westmont Hilltop is taking on Seton LaSalle. The Hilltoppers led the entire first half. Beth Bittner from beyond the arc, she had their first five points. Westmont led by one point entering the half. The Rebels respond. Addie Longjan with the three. Seton LaSalle leads by five midway through the third. Westmont down two in the fourth quarter. Zoe Lynch is going to give the Hilltoppers the lead with the triple. They're trying to put the game of the way. Good ball movement here. Aubie Shingler, who finishes Westmont, moves on in the playoffs with a 54-48 win.